masauraro Abdul Karim Muhammad Abdul Karim ke muku barka da warhaka cikin zango na uku kuma na karshe a cikin jerin shirye-shiryen sashi Hausa na DW a cikin shirin bayan mun kawo muku labaran duniya za ku ji cewa kungiyar raya ta tana arzikin kasashen mace Africa Ecos ta fara taron daki lewatar a kujin mulki a nahiyar Africa a daidai lokacin da sabbin takunkuman da kungiyar tarayya Turai ta kakaba jamhuriyar Niger na haramta tafiye-tafiye ga shugabannin sojoji da kuma kwace wasu kadarori a dalilin jin mulkin da suke ya janyo cece ku ce a kasar shin kome ya rasha ta kudura niyar cimmawa a rikicin gabas ta tsakiya da yatar nake yin zaka karin bayani na nan tafi idan kuka biyo mu to amma bari mu fara da labaran duniya tare da Latifa Mustafa Jafar DW labaran duniya Majalisar dinkin duniya ta ce akwai yuwar dagatar da kai kayan agajin jin kai Gaza. Israila ta zafa fa haraharan da take kaiwa a yankin zirin Gaza na Falastinu. An samu fargabar kai harahare a Jamus a wasu makarantu da cibiyoyin gwamnati. Hukumar majalisar dinkin duniya da ke kula da yan gudun hijirar Falastinu UNRWA ta bayyana cewa akwai yuwar tilasta daina gudanar ta da ayyukanta na jin kai a yankin zirin Gaza cikin daren wannan Laraba hukumar ta ce matakin dakatar da aikin ya zama wajibi in har basu samu man fetur ba da take jawabi ga kamfanin dalancin labaran Jamus DPA director hukumar Juliet Tuma ta ce ba za su iya ci gaba da kai kayan akajin jin kai ga al'umar yankin zirin Gaza dake cikin tsananin bukata ba yan har ba su samu man fetur din ba a cewar ta yan gudun hijirar Falastinu da yawan su ya kai 600 na warwatsa a sansanonin UNRWA din sama da 150 kuma daukacin su sun dogara ne ka cokan ga tallafin hukumar cikin wani jawabi da yayi gabanin taron kwamitin sulhu na majalisar dinkin duniya minista harkokin kasashen ketare na Israila Eli Cohen ya saka fa yayi fatali da duk wani batu na ta yin tsagai ta wuta a farmakin da suke kaiwa yankin zirin Gaza Cohen ya daga hotunan wasu daga cikin mutane 200 da kungiyar Hamas da ke da ke yin garkuwa da su yana mai cewa yaushe za a yi tunanin cimma wata yarjejeniya ta tsagai ta wuta ga mutanen da ke san ganin bayanka a cewar sa ba su ne suka zabi yaki ba amma tabbas su ne za su yi nasara sojojin Isra'ilan kuma na zafafa harharan bamabamai a yankin zirin Gaza na Falastinan gabanin shirin da take na mamayar yankin ta kasa domin murkushe kungiyar Hamas mai gogor maya da makamai a Gaza dake cin daina janyo karuwar rasa rayuka a yankin na zirin Gaza abin da ya san ya amurka bayyana fargabar fadadar sa a yankin Gafas ta tsakiya baki daya al'amuran al'umar yankin zirin Gaza da yawan su ya kai miliyan 2.3 na fama da karancin abinci da ruwan sha da kuma magunguna tun bayan da Israila ta killace yankin a kokarin da take na ganin bayan mayakan kungiyar Hamas bayan da ta kai mata harin baza ta a ranar 7 ga wannan wata na Oktoba da muke ciki da ya hallaka Israilawa sama da dubu 1 Rikici na kara kamari akan iyakar Lebanon da Israila abin da ya tilasta mazauna kauyukan kan iyakar da dama tserewa sakamakon da Israilan ta fada da harharar ramuwar gayyar da take kaiwa kamar yadda wata majiya ta tabbatar su mai yan kungiyar Hezbollah dake samun goyan bayan Iran sun kai kimanin harhare uku cikin Israilan daga kan sansanonin harhare uku kan sansanonin Israilan dake kusa da kan iyakar Lebanon din ba dai rahotar raunuka daga bankaran Israila sai dai kungiyar Hezbollah din ta ce harharan Israilan sun sake halaka wasu mayakan ta shidda tun bayan harin ba zata da kungiyar Hamas dake gogor maya da makamai a yankin zirin Gaza na Falastinu ta kai Israilan ne dai rikiciyarin tabe akan iyakar Israilan da Lebanon da dama ba sa ga mai ciji da juna tsakanin ta da yan Hezbollah labaran duniyar na zuwa muku ne daga nan sashen Hausa na DW dake Birnin Bawn a tarayyar Jamus An samu rahoton nan barazanar kai harin bama bamai a makarantu da manyan cibiyoyi da dama da kuma babbar tashar jiragen kasan Berlin babban birnin kasar Jamus 
bayan wata barazana makamanciyar haka da aka yi ga wasu makarantu da kafar yada labarai a litinin din da ta gabata jami'an yan sanda sun bayyana cewa an samu barazanar kai harin ababbar tashar jiragen kasa ta Berlin da kuma ofisoshin jakadancin kasashen ketare dake birnin da gidan talabijin na RTL da kuma shalkwatar jami'ar SPD ta shugaban gwamnatin Jamus of Olaf Scholz haka ma babbar cibiyar yada labarai da gidajen rediyo uku a jihar Turingiya da wasu makarantu a jihohin Jamus da dama sun samu makabanciyar wannan barazana da ta tilasta kwashi dalibai babu dai tabbacin wanda ko kungiyar dake yin wannan barazana ta kai harharan kawo yanzu ko kuma dalilin yanta da ma abin da ke da alaka da ita ko da yake yayin da wata barazanar ke da alaka ke bayyana kaita da alaka da rikicin Hamas da Israila wato kuma na kai da bayyana alakar ta ne da rikicin Ukraine da Russia Maikatar harkokin kasashen ketare ta Armenia ta sanar da aike san maci ga jakadar Russia kasar dangane da wani shiri da aka yada a kafar talabijin mallakar Russia a cewar maikatar harkokin kasashen ketaren ta Armenia yayin shirin an yi wasu kalamai na batanci da ba za a taba amincewa da su ba ga wasu manyan jami'an gwamnatin kasar tsawon watanni dai kenan da dangantaka tsakanin kasashen biyu dake kawance a baya ta fara lalacewa inda Reban ke zargin Moscow da yin watsi da ita lokacin da Azerbaijan ta kaddamar da harhare akan yankin Nagorno Karabakh da kasashen biyu makwabtan juna suka jima suna rikici a kansa a hannu guda rashin dai ta nunar da cewa Armenia ta sarayar da damar ta tun lokacin da ta amince da gwamnatin Azerbaijan din yayin yarjejeniyar da suka cimma a tsakanin su Hukumar zaben Liberia ta bayyana cewa za a yi zabe zagaye na biyu na shugaban kasa a kasar wannan dai na zuwa ne bayan da aka kammala kada baki da kidaya baki da yan kuri'un da aka kada a zaben na Liberia inda yan takarar biyu dake kan gaba a zaben suka gaza samun kaso 50 cikin 100 ko wannan su a yanzu dai za a yi je zagaye na biyu ne a zaben tsakanin yan takarar biyu dake kan gaba wato shugaban kasar mai ci na yanzu George Weah da kuma babban jagoran adawar kasar Joseph Bokai karshen labaran duniyar kenan Abdul Karim Gareka to age da Latifa Mustafa jabara da labaran duniya DW arkokin yau Turan gaba muna tafar da rahoto kan yadda wasu kasashen Afirka ke nuna yatsa ga kasashen Turai bayan jiyon mulkin sojoji da kuma zargin Turawan da kwashi ya arzikin su za mu ji ko Afirkan za ta iya tsira ba tare da talafin Tura ba akwai mu da tafar da ciniki da masana'antu da ya mai da hankali kan tsare tsare tattalin arzikin jamhuriyar Niger bayan jiyon mulkin da sojoji suka yi sai kuma duniya mai yayi amma bari mu fara da jigon rahoton nan mu ne A jamhuriyar Niger yan kasan ne suka fara mayar da martari kan sabbin matakan takunkuman kare tattalin arziki da neman ladabtar da shugabannin mulkin sojin kasar da tarayya Turai ta kakabawa kasar a dalilin jiyon mulkin rana 26 ga watan Yulin da ya gabata wanda ya hanbar da gwamnatin demokradiya ta bazu Muhammad wakilin mu ayamai Gazali Abdul Tasawa ya ji ta bakin wasu kungiyoyin fafutuka da yan siyasa da kuma manazarta kan harkokin yau da kullun kan tasiri ko aka san matakin wajen taka wa sojojin burki ta kuma rahoton da yayi komana a wani taro ne da kungiyar ta tarayya Turai ta gudanar a ƙarshen mako a Luxembourg ta amince da wani tsarin doka wanda zai bata damar kakabawa gwamnatin mulkin sojan kasar ta Niger jerin wadansu takunkumai baya ga na tattalin arziki da suka saka wa kasar tun lokacin jiyon mulkin ranar 26 ga watan Yulin da ya gabata takunkumin da ya tanadi dakatar da baiwa kasar ta Niger talafin kudi da kuma a fannin tsaro sabbin matakan ladabtarwa da kungiyar ta EU ta dauka sun kuma tanadi kakaba takunkumi ga mutane da kuma hukumomi wadanda ke barazana ga zaman lafiya da na tsaro a kasar ta Niger kazalika matakin ya tanadi karbe kadarori da harbuta shige da fici ga wadansu manyan jami'an gwamnatin Niger zuwa kasashen Turai da kuma hana samun talafi daga kungiyar tarayya Turai to sai dai da yake mayar da martani kan wannan mataki Malam Ismail Muhammad kungiyar Debusi to ayen da ke goyen bayan sojojin da suka ji mulki a Niger ya ce ta kunkumin EU ba zai hana su ci gaba da kawo goyen bayan su ba ga sojojin kasar ta Niger tarayya Turai ta sani na tare da shugabannin mu 1900 sannan su san yau duniya babu kasar da za ta iya rasa namu people kin Niger ya tashi tsaye duk wanda yace zai taba shugabannin mu duk wanda zai ce zai taba incin kasar mu 
kowace kasa ce ta duniya wallahi sai ta shi babu dadi kuma kasar Faransa da kungiyar tarayyar Turai duk taimakon da suke ba kasar Niger idan suna so su tsaida shi ba ma so to amma daga nashi bangare malam Sanin Muhammadu wani mai kusanci da hamburaran shugaban kasa Muhammad Bazum ya bawa yayi da matakin kungiyar ta AU wanda yace zai tilasta ma wadannan sojoji ma zayawa amma wallahi bisa gaskiya in akwai abin da sun kai ta kun kuma mushi mu ke huwata don saboda mu kare da wannan mutane saboda sun ci zarfin kasar mu sun mai da kasar mu baya sun cuce mu sun cuce al'umma kuma su sojojin wannan saboda ba wai masu kishin kasa bane tun da sun zamanto hannunsu ga duke yan kasa suna kwace da karhi da suna yin abin da sun kaga dama dan suna rike da bindigogi kuma bindigogin nan an kasa da kudin mu wallahi muna tabbata musu da cewa yadda sun kasa kasar na cikin la ilaha ula'i kuma su tabbatar da wallahi 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 sai Allah ya saka mu tun daga nan duniya to sai dai a daidai lokacin da wadansu ke ganin matakin kungiyar zai taimaka ga kare shaki kasar da ma mayar da ita saniyar ware a duniya wasu manazarta kan harkokin siyasa na ganin zai wuya sabbin matakan da kungiyar ta tare ture ta dauka su iya wani tasiri ga sojojin da ke miliki da matar talan arzikin kasar farfesa malam muhammad nafiu na jami'a birnin yamai na daga cikin masu irin wannan ra'ayi yau kasashen turai an ka diba muna sai da sai su a tsakanin mu da su amma in aka tsaya a kai tantance to wani matakan ba a doke shi ba su kansu in suka tsaya suka diba su kansu sun san a gare mu da kyal zai tasiri tun da sai da sai suwan da yake hada mu da su bai taka kara ya kanya ba wanda kai taka kara ya kanya yanda ake yin shi Hallo ba ta hullal bace wadda in aka sata kunkuni zai zo yi babban tasiri kan kasar mu abin jira a gani dai anan gaba shine tasirin da wannan karin ta kunkumi da kungiyar tarayya Turai ke shirin sakawa Niger za ya yi wajen tilastawa shugabannin mulkin sojan kasar mazayawa daga matsayar su ta shirya mulkin rukun kwariya kafin mika mulki gazali abdi tasawa DW Hausa daga Yamai a jamhuriyar Niger to a daidai lokacin da ake kara samun masu kishin Afirka dake kaucewa cudanya da kasashen yamma musamman bayan jin mulkin da aka gani a baya bayan nan an yi ta jiyo rayuwar nuna kyama ga Turawa tare da zargin su da kokarin kwasar arzikin Afirka to amma abin tambayar nan shine shin ko kasashen Afirka za su iya rayuwa ba tare da tallafin kasashen yamma ba DW ta jiyo rayuwar wasu matasa Afirka kamar yadda za ku ji a cikin wannan rahoto da Usman Shehu Usman ya hada mana babbar muhawara ce dai kan dangantakar kasashen yamma da kuma nahiyar afirka wanda batu ne dake cike da sarkakiya yayin da a zahiri turawan kasashen yamma na juya akalar afirka bisa dibar arzikin da Allah ya horewa nahiyar a gefe guda kuwa kasashen afirka da dama suna dogaro ne da tallafin kudi daga kasashen da suka ci gaba a harkokin duniya domin ko a kasashe da dama fannin kiwon lafiya da noma da bangaren tsaro suna dogaro ne ka cokan da irin wannan tallafi da ake kawowa Emmanuel wani mata shine dan kasar Ghana wanda yace a ra'ayinsa shi kam Afirka na iya dogaro da kanta muddin tai abin da ya kamata Yes because we have everything Eh saboda muna da dukkan abin da muke bukata na habaka nahiyar muddanta dogara da kanta muna da arzikin ma'adine Allah ya arzurta mu da yawar jama'a matsalar dai kawai ba ma yi abin da ya kamata wanda ke sa muna asarar kumi kasashen waje na ta kwashi arzikin mu dan haka a gani na idan za mu yi abin da ya kamata mu to kuwa afirka za ta bunkasa so that africa will be great sai dai ba wai samun arzikin bane amma babbar matsalar ita ce shugabanni dake kula da arzikin wadanda ke handamar dukiyar al'umma tamkar dukiyar su ta gado a cewar jessica wata matashi ya da taiwa dw karin haske kan batun dogaron nahiyar afirka ba tare da tallafin kasashen waje ba the leaders who are supposed to matsalar ita ce shugabannin da ya kamata su sarrafa mana wannan ma'adine da muke da su shugabannin su ne babbar matsalar mu muna da wannan arzikin amma cin hanci kawai ake yawan ji ko da yaushe dan haka ina ganin muna iya habaka amma kuma shugabannin mu ba sa taimaka mana but then the leaders are not helping us ga mutane irin su matashi mai suna Ibrahim 
yace wani maya ambaci afirka bata bukatar taimakon kasashen waje to munafurshi ne tsantsa domin al'aluman da ake da su sun tabbatar da hakan idan aka duba kudin shiga da kasashen afirka ke samu daga kaye kin da suke kerawa a cikin gidansu zai tabbatar da cewa matukar babu taimako daga kasashen waje to abubuwa da dama za su tsaya a afirka afirka needs external support so afirka na bukatar agajin kasashen waje idan muka duba a bara kadai afirka ta samu taimakon kudi na sama da dollar amerika biliyan 58 wanda aka bata na taimakon raya kasa muna matukar bukatar a gaji duk da cewa na san wasu lokutan irin wadannan taimako suna tattare da wasu ka'idoji akai they can be string and condition attached to them mahawarar batun taimakon raya kasa da kasashen afirka ke samu daga kasashen yamma ya fi fitowa a fili ne bayan da aka yi ta yin zanga zangar kyamar zaman da karun kasashen yamma a wasu kasashen afirka kage da usman she usman da wannan rahoto wannan shine ma karshen jigon rahotarin da muka yi muku tanadi tana kuma jami'an kungiyoyin kasashen wato raya ta talazi in kasashen Africa Ecowas na tarayyar Africa AU da makwarar ruwa fannin demokradiya sun fara wani kokari da gado dalilin da ke haddasa karuwar juyin mulkin soja a kasashen Africa abin da ke zama katsa London ga tsarin demokradiya da ke haifar da kowa baya ga yankin daga Abuja Uwais Abubakar Idris ya aika mana da wannan rahoto wannan dai yana cikin tarbatar badda ake yi ne game da tsarin na demokradiya dake fuskantar barazana iri daban-daban to sai dai hankula sun fita shi ne a nahiyar Afirka biyo bayan sake kutsan da sojojin suka yi a wasu kasashen nahiyar a shekaru uku da suka gabata kasashen Afirka shidda ne sojoji suka kifar da gwamnatin demokradiya halattacciya kuma zababbiya abin da yana koma bayan da ake fuskanta da ya tada hankalin kungiyoyin yankin da mama su fafutukar kare demokradiya domin kama daga mali da so joji sai juyin mulki a shekara ta 2020 da kuma 2021 ya zuwa na jamhuriyar Niger da aka yi a bana abin na ci gaba da karuwa ne ambassador Abdul Fatah Musa shine commissioner kula da harkokin siyasa da tsaro a kungiyar Ecowas ya ce a nazarin su sun gano dalilin da ke sanya faruwar haka you know the main challenge is that of uh, inclusivity yace babban kalubale shine na rashin a tafi tare da kowa a gudanar da harkokin mulki bayan an kafa gwamnati an ci zabe a kasashen Africa da dama mun gano cewa koda ana sassauya hannun mulki a tsakanin jami'u bi ne kawai koda wanda ya ci zabe na da karamin rinjayi ne yana san kankan ya komai so whoever is in power wants to grab as much as possible akwai dai sauran dalilai da kwararru suka bayyana da suka hada da talauci rashin tsaro da kuma bayan kasashen da ake fuskanta juyin mulkin professor attahiru jega tsohon shugaban hukumar zabe ta najeriya ne babban matsala dai ita ce wadanda ake zabe su yi shugabanci na siyasa musamman a wannan nahiyar ta mu sukan fi mai da karfi ne ga son mulki din mai makon yan amfani da shugabanci na kasa domin a biya bukatun jama'a su sojoji wadanda yake wasun su ko yaushe dama suke nema sai su yi amfani da irin wannan damar su yi joyin mulki to gaskiya joyin mulki ba shi da wani amfani kara durkushe kasa kawai yake tsohon shugaban Najeriyan good luck Jonathan da ya nuna damuwa akan kasa London su sojoji suke yi Africa ya ce dole ne fa a hanzar ta daukan matakan da suka dace in Africa democracy is currently facing many challenges ya ce demokradiya na fuskantar kalubale mai yawa a Africa don haka akwai bukatar tuntubar juna akan batun tsari na a tafi tare a gudanar da mulki a karfafa tsarin gudanar da zabe tattaunawa ta shiga tsakani akan zaman lafiya da mulki bisa kamanta adalci Dr. Aisha Laraba Abdullahi tsohuwar commissioner kula da harkokin siyasa a kungiyar tarayyar Africa ta ce akwai bukatar ta ka tsantsan bisa halin da ake ciki a yau halin da muke ciki gaskiya wannan babbar barazana ce saboda soje dai ya kamata yana tsaron kasa ne ba ba shine yake mulki ba kasashen waje ma ba su taimaka ba gurin rudanin da ake samu a wannan kasashe saboda suna zuwa suna diban azikin su kuma mutanen suna fama da talauci ga kuma yanzu bambancin ra'ayi yanzu duk kusan kasashen farashi na da kaga soje sun yi juyin mulki suka kuma suna fito su yi alaka da da kasar Russia in ba a maida hankali ba sai zamanin jaya fadi jaya dauka sun kori 
faran shi kuma Rashid ta shigo musu duk da wannan kungiyar kasa da kasa ta idea ta ce har yanzu al'ummun Afirka na nuna sha'awa ga mulkin demokradiya duk da cewa tsarin ya gaza yi musu halacci wai Sabu Bakar Idris DW Hausa daga Abuja Nigeria to nan gaba zamu saki koma Nigeria bayan da iyaye a jahar Zamfara ke korafi game da rufe makarantu da aka yi ke hana yayin su zuwa makaranta tsawon shekaru a dalilin matsalolin tsaro to amma ga mu dora ga wannan sanarwa albishirin ku masu sauraro sashin Hausa na DW na gabatar muku da shirin gaskiyar magana gaskiyar magana eh gaskiyar magana kamar yadda sunan yake shiri ne dake kawo muku taunawa da fitattun yan siyasa da masana da taurari da sauran mashahuran mutane kan batutuwan da suka shafe ku shirin na kokarin tambayar muku wadannan mutane irin tamboyin da kuke san ku ji amsar su muna wallafa muku wannan shiri a duk ranar juma'a da daddare a shafin mu na YouTube DW Hausa gaskiyar magana kada ku bari abaku labari to da fatan za a yi da ku ma sauraro kada ku bari a baku labari to sakamakon zargin mazgunawa da suke fuskanta ta hanyar karbar kudi ba gaira ba dalili daga hukumomi daban-daban na jihar Lagos yan kasuwar mai 12 sun gudanar da wata zanga zangar limana zuwa majalisar dokokin jihar da neman fita kan halin da suka zanci kansu a ciki duk wanda cewa sun ce ba wai ba sa goyon bayan samar da tsare-tsaren da za su ce da kasuwar gaba bane daga Lagos wakila Masar Balabello ya aika mana da cikakken labarin ko shaka babu kasuwar mai 12 kasuwa ce ta kayan gwari da babu irin ta fadin kasar musamman a kudancinta da dai makuntan jihar na kallon cewa akwai sauran tsalle da yake fanci tsaftar kasuwar da makamantan su kan haka ne wannan tawaga bisa jagorancin iyaloja ta Lagos ta kai wannan zanga zanga ta Limana ga majalisar domin kwalliya ta biya kudin sabulu daura da haka ne shugaban majalisar dokoki ya aike da tawaga a bisa jagorancin shugaban komiti na yadda labarai na majalisar Mr Stephen Ogundipi don shiga tsakani yan kasuwar dai sun yi korafa korafi da ya ji kwanci ci gaban kasuwar ciki kuwa har da batun sauyawa kasuwar matsuguni da kuma tsaftar kasuwar ta mile 12 a bisa wannan hali ne na tuntube daya daga cikin yan kasuwar ta mile 12 kan tsaftace wannan kasuwar ga kuma abin da take cewa we sweep more than five times a day Inside my 12 market, I'm telling you the truth. I am 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 telling you the truth. Kana cewa idan har an sauya mana wuri muna neman wurin da ya dace da irin kasuwar mu ta yau da kullum Honorable Stephen Ogundipi bayan jin korafa korafan yan kasuwar ga abin da dai yake cewa Who has graciously sent us to come and listen to your protest We've had to Na ji duk abin da kuka fada domin wannan shine zuwan ku na biyu kuma na dauki alƙawarin shaidawa shugaban majalisar dokoki ku kanku bisa manufa don warware sadakiyar da ke fuskantar kasuwar a halin yanzu and i am sure i can speak on behalf of the speaker on this bincike da dw ta ya nuna cewa tun lokacin da aka samu sabani tsakanin yan kasuwar da kabilar yarubawa samar shekaru 17 aka bukaci sauyawa kasuwar matsuguni domin samun zaman lafiya daga lagos mansur balabello dw hausa Kwanin zai muna Najeriya amma daga fannin kasuwancin zamu je ga fannin ilimi da al'umar yankunan da ke fama da hararren yan bindiga a jihar Zamfara ke ci gaba da kokawa kan yadda suka ce an rufe makarantun boko a yankunan su tsawon shekaru saboda matsala tsaro wanda yasa yanzu haka yaran nasu ba sa samun damar zuwa makaranta kamar yadda za ku ji karin bayani a rahoton wakilin Yusuf Ibrahim Jargaba Al'umar yankunan da abin ya shafa sun ce tuni tarbiyar ƴaƴan su da matunanin su ya fara canlawa sakamakon zaman da suke babu karatu abin da ke ci gaba da jefa a tsoro a zukatan su na abin da ka iya faruwa nan gaba sakamakon rashin ilimin ma damar ba a dauma takai ba malam nuhu dan sadawu 
na daga cikin wadanda yankuna zu ke fama da wannan matsala sama da shekara 5 karatu ya tabarbare wanda muka bashi da suna Boko Haram shine real typical Boko Haram yanzu a zamfara ake yin shi a nan gunduma masarautar dan sadau muna da makarantu kowace gunduma dan kurmi dan gulbi bin din dan sadau da mutunji ko malele duk makarantun primary da suke kauye kun wannan gundumomi guda biyar da na lisa fa to babu inda ake karatu a cikin wannan makarantun asali ma ko wasu makarantu wanda suke yan bindiga ne suka koma cikin suka zauna suna cin karan su ba baka suna bushashar su karamar hukumar zurmi jama'a abin ya shafe su inda yaran su ke ci gaba da zama gida gami da watan garirya kamar yadda mazaunin yankin yake karin bayani kusan duk kauyukan da wannan matsalan tsaron ta shafa duk makarantun su a rufe suke yara suna ta gararan ba so duka cikin wayannan kauyuka da matsalar tsaro take addaba idan kaga ana karatu a wannan kauyen to sai idan al'umma wannan garin ne suka yi wani habbasa don ganin cewa ya'yan su sun ci gaba da karatu amma dai ta bangaren gwamnati gaskiya duka kauyukan nan da nake gaya maka babu wani gari wanda za a ce ga malaman gwamnati suke zuwa suke koyarwa duka makarantun a rufe suke kungiyoyin fararen hula a jihar ta Zamfara na ci gaba da aye kuwa gaba hukunta dan ganin sun yi abin da ya kamata na bude makarantun Aliyu Adam Katarkwashi shugaban wata kungiya ne wannan kira ta gwamnati ta tayi duk abin da take ganin za ta iya yi wanda zai tanadar da wani ne yi wanda za a bude makarantun nan domin ya rasu kuma makaranta domin idan abin ya ci haka gaba zai kasance cewa mun sabu kamu cikin wani ne yi wanda manoma ba sa iya zuwa guna ya raba su iya zuwa makaranta wanda za a kada san mun tabarbare wa ilimi rafi ya makarantun boko sakamakon matsalar tsaron ta wai wani haki ne na bangaren ilimi ga yara a cewar masarin ilimi dr mukutar alqasim kaga an haramta ma yara wani babban haki na suna rayuwa shine na na ilimi tun daga addinin mu na musulunci har kuma al'amari na zamani ya tabbatar da cewa ginshi kira rayuwa shine ilimi ka ba yaro ilimi musamman kuma sadda yake karami ya kamata a ce gwamnati ko ya ake cikin irin wannan tayi yunkuri ta tabbatar da cewa ko da karfin to ko da na arziki an tabbatar da irin wa'annan makarantu an bude su yaran nan sun ci gaba da karatu sai dai gwamnatin jihar ta Zamfara ta ce ita ma gadar matsalar ta yi amma tana iya ka bakin kokarin ta domin samar da mafita kamar yadda komishinan watsa labarin jihar malam Manar Haidar Kaura yake karin bayani gwamnatin da ta gabata ita ce ta rufe wa'annan makarantun ne amma wannan gwamnati tana iya kokarin ta ta ga cewa ta bude wa'annan makarantun ne domin dalibai su ci gaba da karatun su masana da yana cewa da al'ummar da aka hana ilimi to ko shakka babu an ci ta da yaki abin da ake ganin ka iya kara ruruta wutar aika aika a cikin al'umma idan har ba a dau matakan gauga ba na daki la matsalar yusuf ibrahim jirgaba dw hausa daga zamfara a najeriya to yayin da rikicin isra'ila da hamas ke haddasa a tsarin raika fararen hula a zirin gaza mataki da martan da kasar rashi ta dauka na yankurin shiga tsakani a sabon rikicin ya fito fili kan yadda shugaba Vladimir Putin ke auna muradin sa a yankin Gabas ta tsakiya kamar yadda Abdurrahim Hassan ya rubuta a sharhin sa wanda Abdullahi Muhammad zai gabatar Moscow ba ta fito fili ta yi Allah wa dare da haran da Hamas ta Palestine ta kai wa Isra'ila ba amma kuma ta hita ka tsantsan wajen nuna wa Isra'ila wariya a maimakon haka ma'aikatar harkokin wajen Russia ta yi kira ga dukkanin bangarori da suka yi zuciya nesa tare da neman cimma yarjejeniyar tsage ta bude wuta tana mai gargadin cewa rashin sulhu zai iya haifar da hatsarin gaske rashi na cin gajiyar wannan rikici ta hanyoyi da dama na farko dai shine yadda yakin yankin gabas ta tsakiya ke kawar da hankalin duniya daga mamayar da rashi take yi wa ukraine da kuma matsayin fitar da mai a kasuwannin duniya sai kuma damar shiga tsakani da bangaronin da ke rikici da juna a yakin sai dai a cikin sauki rikicin zai iya haifar da tashin hankali mai muni wanda zai tilastawa gwamnatin Moscow daukar bangare da kuma hakan zai shafi tasirinta da kaddarorinta a yankin gabas ta tsakiya kenan Russia na cikin tsaka mai wuya tun bayan sanarwar da ma'aikatar harkokin wajen Russia ta fita kwanaki kalilan bayan rikicin da ya sanadiyar mutuwar fararen hula da dama rikicin ya kara kamari inda hararren wuce gona da iri da Isra'ila ke kaiwa a yankin zirin Gaza duniya tana ganin cewa Isra'ila ta kara bakin jini a makwabtan kasashe kamar su Lebanon da Syria wanda ake ganin Iran na iya shiga sharo a yakin ta gefe guda dai daga cikin fitattun hanyoyin da Isra'ila da Hamas ke taimaka wa kasar Rasha shine karkata hankalin kasashen yamma kan Ukraine kuma da tallafin da Kiev da magoyin bayan da take samu a yakin watanni 19 yana raguwa
Rasha zata ya ampani da gaba iru mwannan ta karya inda ta kesu. Maana zata ya ampani da rikichin da gaza da Israela kei wajang haipada sabani da kani nyu karenda kwa yenta. Kapu mbarke wa rikichin baya baya na da kani Israela da Hamas. Akwe ala munchi gaba da baya da talapi ga yu karenda ya shiga chikin hadari. Musamma ma baya nda majalisa doko king Amerika ta amanche da wani kudari. Da ke da katarda bay wa kiev karente makun kuda de hardala biliang ashirenda hudu na tha unkwa na ki arba inda biyar. Shugaman Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky ya gana da kungiyar tsarota NATO da kawayanta a birnin Brussels. San tabbatar da aniyar su ta ci gaba da tallafa wa Ukraine. Dai daga cikin manyan kasashe masu arzikin man Peter a duniya wato Russia, na cin gajiyar karin farashin dan yammai a daidai lokacin da ake fama da rashin zaman lafiya a yankin gabas ta tsakiya. Farashin man Peter ya karu da kashi hudu cikin dari bayan harin ba da ta da Hamas ta kai wa Isra'ila, amma tun daga lokacin farashin ya daidaita. Karin farashin dan yamman Peter na taimakawa Moscow wacce ita ma take fitar da shi haba ka tattalin arzikinta da take fuskantar matsala a yanzu Russia na dogaro ne ka cokan akan kudaden da take samu na mai wanda take fitarwa zuwa waje a yanda take shirin yin wani gagarumin cigaba a fannin kudaden tsaro a shekarar 2024 inda ake hasashen ta kashe fiye da kaso 70 cikin dari dala biliyan 63 kenan Rasha na daga cikin kasashen da ke da kyakkyawar alaka da Isra'ila da kuma wasu kasashe na yankin gabas ta tsakiya. Dan haka yakin da ake yi a tsakanin Isra'ila da Hamas ya kuma bai wa rashar damar murza kambunta a fannin diplomasiya a yankin gabas ta tsakiya. Ta amma idan har yunkurin sasan ta rikici ta hanyar diplomasiya ya ci tara, hakan na iya zama babban kalubale ga Rasha musamman ma a muradanta na soji a kasashen Syria da Iraqi da kuma Iran. A yanzu Rasha na da sansanonin soja a kasar Syria kuma jami'an leƙin asirin kasashen yammacin duniya sun yi kakkarsar sukar cewa shugaba Vladimir Putin ya koma dasawa da Iran ne domin neman makaman da kasar za ta yi amfani da su a yakin Ukraine ko da yake Moscow da Tehran sun sha musanta hakan a gida Abdullahi Mamma Amadu da sharhin da Abdurrahim Hassan ya rubuta kuma nan gaba za mu je ga sauran shirye-shiryen nan mu kai muku tanadi a makafin nan bari mu dan sarara da wannan